So, Seba, you mean the people can cycle from Monday to Sunday within the inner city? Yeah, sure. I mean, the reason we started doing these experiences is to show people the city on grassroots level, not driving, but wanted them to cruise through the city. If you've been dying for a new way to experience the city, then allow us to introduce you to Curiosity's Cycling Tours, which guides you through popular buildings, restaurants and artwork that are perfect when exploring both culture and history. Tepa Mukoni took us through it. It's just a lot of public artwork around the area and really to get to see a lot of hidden gems within the city centre. I mean, this courtyard that we're in right now is designed by South Africa's famous landscaper, Patrick Watson. And a lot of art, as you can see around, a very cool coffee shop, a hub for a lot of creatives. So really it's to change the narrative of what Johannesburg is. And I guess the best way to see it is really through a bike. I mean, we make sure that our bikes are sanitized, the helmets are sanitized, we keep a lot of social distancing. And really, I feel like being on a bike alone, it does give you that room to do a lot of social distancing and really to do an activity during these tough times of COVID, you know. So we really had to pivot and come up with new strategies on how, what do we do as experiences. It obviously, abiding to the rules of COVID-19. For 250 per person, curiosity encourages people to be adventurous and be part of a lifestyle that sees the world in a unique and convenient way. And since we've been at level four, we started seeing people come out more because people want to really do outdoor activities, you know. So this is one of the activities that we've been doing. Booking are very essential, so we know how many people are coming and we can be ready for them. Having been through the tour, I can guarantee that not only will you get a free weekend exercise, but you also get to feel the sun on your face. You get to learn more about the city and also take in beautiful sights all in your backyard. Hi guys, my name is Boiti and you're watching Joburg Today. In case you haven't heard the news yet, South African football players have gone digital thanks to the MySafa app. So we've registered just over 320,000 players and each of these players have been issued with a FIFA ID um, and with them we've registered 12,500 football clubs. To put the numbers into perspective, in, the one week, in one week in February, before lockdown, we registered just over 7,000 players in that week, but we also managed over 1,600 matches across the country. Now that's 3,500 teams from um, 115 leagues. And, you know, in those matches, we had um, four and a half thousand goals were scored. So there's a, there's a lot of football that happens across the country and there's a lot of football that gets run through the system. And uh, before we had my suffer, it was not easy for me to, to claim a player to say he's now at a, at a professional club, but I developed him as a coach because there was no record of that. So with this, even when a player goes to PSL, the, the, these development clubs that have groomed or these coaches, then they can get something because remember, all oh, this has... No coach has been able to claim, especially at development. I'm not sure when it comes to other coaches at, at, at professional level, but us at development level, we have never claimed anything. You know, our players come, we develop them, then they go. So with this system, for me, I think it's, it's a very ideal. So what's the obstacle to football development? Football development in this country is not in the, in the, in the hands of the riches. People must know that, and I, I know people are afraid to talk about these things. The poor of the poor, the ones that are running football, they don't understand this thing of apps or whatever. So they'll say, but uh, chairman, what's this thing? No, 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 I can't do these things. My players, I want my players to play. They just want to play. But we have done what you call road shows to, to educate our members, to understand this thing, how it works, and tell them, chief, oh, when you come and register, one, the ID number must be proper. <laughs> Your certificate, birth certificate must be proper. Fill the registration proper. Because when that form goes in that my suffer, and my suffer says it's correct, it's correct. You can't come tomorrow and change it. So if it says it rejected, it rejected and it will give reasons. We would like to go into Africa, but we also have a lot of opportunity to still keep growing here. You know, they, there are about 3 million active football players in this country. We've got a long way to grow before we really are ready to go elsewhere. But that being said, FIFA have confirmed we're, we've registered more football players than anyone else in Africa, and we're currently ranked 15th in the world. Now, our goal is we would love to take what we've learned here and replicate it in, you know, in, our, in other African countries.